Yeah, very interesting here at, at the ASH meeting was a whole session about the combination of ibrutinib plus venetoclax. Um, the combination has been already approved by the EMA in Europe and not yet approved by the FDA. Um, so this is a double oral combination um, based on the BTK inhibitor ibrutinib and the BC2 inhibitor venetoclax given for a total of 15 months, three months run in with ibrutinib and then venetoclax added for 12 months. And there was a whole session on and the combination from different phase two, but also from a phase three study, the GLOW study. And um, there are a few from these different studies also with a little bit different variants of the um, administration. Um, for me, there are two really exciting data. The one is that uh, what um, Tala Munir showed from the UK, the Clarity study, is that um, so something we know from CML, that the faster we approach um, towards undetectable MAD, um, the longer will be um, the progression-free survival in patients when once you stop the treatment. Um, that's a key interesting aspect. And the other one is Carsten Niemann presented from an analysis from the GLOW study that um, for patients with a mutated IGVH status, at least with the current follow-up, it makes no difference if patients have undetectable MRD or not, while it makes a difference for patients with unmutated IGVH status. And also that there is now an overall survival difference in the GLOW study for the um, favoring the IV combination in comparison to clamosil plus obinituzumab.